Christ on the road to Calvary, one of the wonderful lines from Chuart Townend's remarkable song, Oh to See the Dawn. And welcome to our online reflection for Good Friday 2021. Thank you so much to members of All Saints Choir for putting these pieces of music together so wonderfully. Good to reflect back perhaps on times past when the choir would be robed and uh, marking this most holy of days. But clearly today other pieces of modern technology have been used to put together these pieces of music 
which I trust you'll not just sit back and enjoy, but perhaps prayerfully watch with our Saviour and Christians throughout the world as Good Friday is marked in this way. We remember now that our Saviour died upon the cross, that his head bowed, that his head was crowned with a crown of thorns, that his head and indeed his whole body is sacred forevermore. When the day came, the assembly of the elders of the people, both chief priests and scribes, gathered together, and they brought Jesus to their council. They said, If you are the Messiah, tell us. He replied, If I tell you, you will not believe, and if I question you, you will not answer. But from now on, the Son of Man will be seated at the right hand of the power of God. All of them asked, Are you then the Son of God? He said to them, You say that I am. Then they said, What further testimony do we need? We have heard it ourselves from his own lips. Then the assembly rose as a body and brought Jesus before Pilate. They began to accuse him, saying, We found this man perverting our nation, forbidding us to pay taxes to the emperor, and saying that he himself is the Messiah, a king. Then Pilate asked him, Are you the king of the Jews? He answered, You say so. Then Pilate said to the chief priests and the crowds, I find no basis for an accusation against this man. But they were insistent and said, He stirs up the people by teaching throughout all Judea, from Galilee, where he began, even to this place. 
when Pilate heard this. He asked whether the man was a Galilean. And when he learned that he was under Herod's jurisdiction, he sent him off to Herod, who was himself in Jerusalem at that time. When Herod saw Jesus, he was very glad, for he had been wanting to see him for a long time, because he had heard about him and was hoping to see him perform some sign. He questioned him at some length, but Jesus gave him no answer. The chief priests and the scribes stood by, vehemently accusing him. Even Herod, with his soldiers, treated him with contempt and mocked him. Then he put an elegant robe on him and sent him back to Pilate. That same day, Herod and Pilate became friends with each other. Before this, they had been enemies. Pilate then called together the chief priests, the leaders and the people and said to them, You brought this man as one who was perverting the people and here I have examined him in your presence and not found this man guilty of any of your charges against him. Neither has Herod, for he sent him back to us. Indeed, he has done nothing to deserve death. I will therefore have him flogged and release him. Then they all shouted out together, Away with this fellow! Release Barabbas for us! This was a man who had been put in prison for an insurrection that had taken place in the city and for murder. Pilate, wanting to release Jesus, addressed them again. But they kept shouting, Crucify! Crucify him! A third time he said to them, Why? What evil has he done? I have found in him no ground for the sentence of death. I will therefore have him flogged and then release him. But they kept urgently demanding with loud shouts that he should be crucified. And their voices prevailed. So Pilate gave his verdict that their demand should be granted. He released the man they asked for, the one who had been put in prison for insurrection and murder, and he handed Jesus over as they wished. As they led him away, they seized a man, Simon of Cyrene, who was coming from the country, and they laid the cross on him and made him carry it behind Jesus. A great number of the people followed him, and among them were women who were beating their breasts and wailing for him. But Jesus turned to them and said, Daughters of Jerusalem, do not weep for me, but weep for yourselves and for your children. For the days are surely coming when they will say, Blessed are the barren and the wombs that never bore and the breasts that never nursed. Then they will begin to say to the mountains, fall on us, and to the hills, cover us. For if they do this when the wood is green, what will happen when it is dry? Two others also, who were criminals, were led away to be put to death with him. When they came to the place that is called the skull, they crucified Jesus there with the criminals, one on his right and one on his left. Then Jesus said, Father, forgive them, for they do not know what they are doing. And they cast lots to divide his clothing. And the people stood by, watching. But the leaders scoffed at him, saying, he saved others. Let him save himself, if he is the Messiah of God, his chosen one. 
the soldiers also mocked him, coming up and offering him sour wine and saying, If you are the king of the Jews, save yourself. There was also an inscription over him, This is the king of the Jews. One of the criminals who were hanged there kept deriding him and saying, Are you not the Messiah? Save yourself and us. But the other rebuked him, saying, Do you not fear God, since you are under the same sentence of condemnation? And we indeed have been condemned justly, for we are getting what we deserve for our deeds. But this man has done nothing wrong. Then he said, Jesus, remember me when you come into your kingdom. He replied, truly, I tell you, today you will be with me in paradise. It was now about noon and darkness came over the whole land until three in the afternoon while the sun's light failed and the curtain of the temple was torn in two. And Jesus, crying with a loud voice, said, Father, into your hands I commend my spirit. Having said this, he breathed his last. When the centurion saw what had taken place, he praised God and said, Certainly, this man was innocent. And when all the crowds who had gathered there for this spectacle saw what had taken place, they returned home beating their breasts. But all his acquaintances, including the women who had followed him from Galilee, stood at a distance watching these things. Father, we thank you for the gift of music to stir our emotions and to bring us in humble adoration to you as we bow before the Lamb of God who was slain once for all for the sins of the world. In thanking God for the gift of music, we come now in prayer to reflect on all that Christ has done for us on that first Good Friday. Lord Jesus, in the Olive Garden, you faced in prayer the devil's last and greatest temptation to take the easy way, the sensible solution. That was not the will of your Father. Give us grace, Lord, to listen to the quiet, insistent voice that draws us up the Calvary's path far from the world's highway, the path that leads to the cross, but also to the empty tomb, and the glory of the resurrection, for your name's sake. Amen. 
It was for us, Lord Jesus, that you endured all this, the hatred, the treachery, the rejection of others, the scourging, the mockery, the crown of thorns, the agony and shame and dereliction of the cross. It was for us and for our salvation that you suffered and died. Give us each one a deeper understanding of what you've done for us and of what we owe to you, that we may live as those who are no longer their own, but have been bought with a price, the price of your lifeblood, O Lamb of God, our most gracious Redeemer and King. Amen. A moment of quietness to pray for our own lives, to pray for our friends and members of our human family, and to hold before God all those who suffer and feel God's absence from them during these days. May the Christ who said, My God, my God, why have you forsaken me? Be with them and offer to them now, in answer to our prayers, the reassurance of God's undying love for them. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Trust you've enjoyed music for the Saviour's tree as we now reflect that God so loved the world that he gave his one and only Son. We remember that the blessing of the cross that comes from the tree that Paul described so eloquently. Uh, may the Lord bless you and keep you. May the Lord make his face to shine upon you and be gracious to you. The Lord lift up the light of his countenance upon you and bring you his peace. Oh. Mm -hmm.